Hello and welcome to webjacket.com. This is the you design it page where you create and design your own varsity jackets. I'll be giving this tutorial to assist you in designing your own jacket. There are a few tabs here, as you can see. There are the products where you can basically change this product here. Coloring, where you color the jacket. Decoration, which is the embroidery. And here from the drop down, you see the decoration positions back front left, front right, shoulders, and the pockets. And then some extra options that they are different according to the product that you are creating and the size. Quantity and size basically and then you click here add to cart to purchase it. So let's start with coloring. Obviously here you choose the colors of the jacket, the wool body, the genuine leather sleeves, and as you can see, any change you make here is going to be reflected immediately on the picture here. The snaps. And then the trico, which is the bands. You click here. This window opens. And uh, you choose the color combination of the band you want. So let's go with this. And you can go back. And then the pockets. You can always click on this link here to see a swatch or the actual material. Obviously this is just a computer generated picture so some differences might might be applicable to the real to the real material. So from here you go to decoration if you want to add any embroidery this is optional obviously you can purchase a jacket with no embroidery a plain jacket. But if you choose to have embroidery, that's where you have to go, decoration, and you choose where you want to have it. So let's say you want to add something on the back, so you choose the back decoration here. And then you choose one of those. Text 1, text 2, central text or image, text 3, and text 4 are basically just a virtual placeholders for the embroidery. Meaning text 1 is going to be right on top, text 2 is underneath it, the central text or image is below text 2, text 3 is below that and text 4 is just right at the bottom. So if you go here, we click on text 1, we come here, we enter the value of the text that we want to add, this embroidery, we choose the font, Let's say you want to go with the varsity font, we choose the color, the size, and the style. Style meaning straight, arch, bridge, these are all the styles available. So let's say you want to go with an arch and we go to submit. Here. It's going to appear immediately on the picture. You have this rotate button here when you can click on it to rotate the jacket. So this text one, as you enter the text one and you click on the submit, you see that the price here has gone up reflecting the price of the embroidery. So now it's at $249, for example. So if we add text 2 now, and again, we choose here what we want to have. So when this is straight, you see the price went up to $264. So basically anything you do here in, in terms of embroidery is going to be reflected on the, on the price of the item. And if you want to remove any embroidery, you come here, you just delete. You click submit, the embroidery is gone and the price went down. If you want to add an image, you come here where it says central text or image. You have the option of text, which is going to be similar to what we've done before. And here you have the image button where you click it. You can upload your own. You create an account if you don't have one already and you upload your own image. Or you choose one of our image libraries here. As you can see, we have many libraries. We have the animal, cars, sports, motorcycles, planes, and we have many school mascots. So let's take one as an example. Let's say the lion. You see the images appear here. If you click on the plus sign here, an enlarged version of that image will appear in the pop-up. You can close it. If you want to add this image to your jacket, just click on it, and it's going to appear here. Again, the price here went up because you added the image embroidery. You want to remove the image, you go to remove the image or click to choose another image if you want to choose another image here. Same thing for text 3 and text 4. 
The same is applicable if you want to add embroidery on the frontlet, for example. You come here from the drop, bin, drop down menu, you choose frontlet decoration. Again, let's say you want to have one large letter here. You put M and choose embroidery, you choose it in the varsity font, silver, six inches. Here you go. You go then to the options tab. You have the options here to choose between the thick quilted lining, which is the default one, or the thin satin black lining for the warm weather. It's at zero price, at zero dollar, so there's no additional price for it. You choose what you want, and then you come here to the size. If you only want one jacket, you keep it here, quantity at one. You choose the size you want. You choose the size option. The size option basically is X short, X tall, and X X tall. X short means one inch less shorter in the sleeves and the jacket length. X tall means one inch longer in the sleeve than the jacket length. X X tall means two inches longer in the sleeves and the jacket length. The default is basically nothing. You choose nothing. If you want more, if you want more than one jacket of the same design, you come here. You say, let's say you want three, and you click submit, and here you go. You choose the three jackets, the three different sizes of the same exact jacket, which is this one here, and you go add to cart. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching.